print email Facebook Twitter more Mumbai slums are being transformed into works of art the slums of Mumbai are home to millions of people but regarded as eyesores in India's glitziest city however one woman is slowly transforming the city's waterfront slums into giant works of art Rubal Nagi 38 started visiting slums in her hometown to give children art classes but she soon realized she could give a lot more when I go to these areas to teach art, I thought, if I'm not bringing art to their lives, then what am I doing? She said, now, with hundreds of volunteers, her foundation has been painting and beautifying slums all over the city. Daubing the dwellings with explosions of bright paint is just the start. Ms. Nagi's team also clean up mountains of rubbish strewn along the beachfront villages. They even plan to install toilets and run hygiene campaigns. She recruits locals from within the slums to help paint and clean up the area. Like young aspiring fashion photographer Ravi Parab, Mr. Parab scouts locations inside the slum for photographers and filmmakers to use as backdrops. He's an outgoing young man with big dreams and good connections, and is passionate about the village he lives in, and he was thrilled with its facelift. You can see the colors of it, it looks very good, Mr. Parab said. Plans to build toilets as part of beautification The Whirly Slum began its existence as a fishing village, but with urbanization, it has been transformed into a densely packed city within a city. More than 400 families live in the slum, which is only a quarter of a square kilometer in size. Slums are associated with makeshift structures, but, while some of the roofing is flimsy, this settlement is mostly built of concrete and very much entrenched on the land it occupies, spilling out onto a beach with panoramic views of Mumbai, it would be very valuable real estate. Despite that, there are hardly any toilets in the homes. That means most of the locals simply walk out onto the beachfront to do their business. As she painted, Ms. Nagi joked, I have never seen so many bums and bits in my whole life. Men urinate and defecate openly at all hours of the day, whereas women cannot be seen to relieve themselves in the same manner. Ms. Nagi's foundation plans to build toilets for the locals as part of the beautification drive. We don't have to wait for the government to do it because that will probably never happen, she said. This, the problem we face today. Artist determined to improve her home Ms. Nagi is a career artist who has painted murals all over Mumbai, sells art internationally and has half a million followers on Instagram. But like many young, professional Indians who have been educated abroad, she is passionate about the place she calls home, and determined to improve it. I don't believe in the blame game, she said. I don't live here in Worley, so why am I cleaning Worley? Because it's part of my city. There is no specific area I say is mine or yours, it's all ours. Every area I work in, they become like an extended family.